everyone, Tom here from TechNexus and thanks for joining me for today's video. Now this is uh, another video that I decided to make uh, in relation to a question that was asked on the forums and funnily enough it was a question that I had uh, on email as well from a colleague over in the US and wanted to know about making a custom pull down list for the file naming uh, format of a project. So. Uh, I am in Plan 3D 2022. This will be exactly the same for all the other versions. So what we need to do is just go into the project setup. And then when that appears, all we need to do is just make a new uh, entry in the class definition. So here under uh, engineering items, I'm just going to add a new one. Um, and let's call it uh, forum example uh, file name. Okay. Uh, the display name again you can change it uh, to whatever you want it to be uh, and we just call it up as a selection list okay and then when we do get that because it is a selection list it's going to ask us to, to create a new uh, selection list here so I just go add list and I'll call it uh, I'll just call it file uh, file name pull down okay um, now let's say I don't know we'll call it um, uh, area 10 actually let's make the description 10 and I'll say the description is area 10 and the value of 20 area 20 30 area 30 for example okay and go okay and then you can see that it's it's there we can you know maybe just for argument's sake in in because this is at that top level uh, by default we'll keep it clear but it, you know we need this for for the uh, uh, pull down. So then I go under file name format, click on add, uh, and I might say uh, the first one is the area. And then if I scroll down, then you can see I've got that pull down here and delimiter, uh, let's make it a hyphen. Uh, and then I'll just put in number and I'll make that uh, numeric with a length of three, just for argument's sake, whatever it might be. Okay, uh, actually, and let's add another one, discipline. Yeah, it's discipline. Uh, and that can be a string and that can be three as well. So that could be structural. Uh, actually, let's switch this around. Let's do number as the last one. Make that a number and that can be three as well. So we've got area, discipline and number. Click apply and then click OK. And now when we create a new, a new uh, drawing, you can see we have area, 10, discipline as maybe STR and then the number 001. So you can see it says it's too long, so three characters. Okay. Now you, people can override that, but if you see that uh, that uh, your file names in the projects aren't conforming to your standard, then you know someone's clicked that override button. So I just go OK, and now you can see I've got that pull down there. So hopefully that's answered the question. Uh, it's nothing difficult. Uh, you just obviously need to know where to go. So as usual, thanks for watching, uh, and catch me next week. Please click on uh, the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my videos. Now that I'm getting back into it and doing them weekly, uh, click the like button. If you do like this video, please leave a comment if you need to down below, and I'll endeavor to answer it as soon as I can. But as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week for another video. See you later.